Old one, this is no place for you. Are you not afraid to die? Why should I fear something I've never done? It could be interesting. <laughs> Chances are, if you had a computer with an internet connection back in 2000, you were crawling through dungeons in Diablo 2. It's one of those titles that was easy to pick up and hard to put down, with hours of content. There's been outcry for a sequel for a long time, which has been nothing short of dangled just out of reach of the teeming masses. Now, after plenty of slideshow presentations, delays, and cinematic teasers, Diablo 3's finally emerged. But does the title live up to its 12 years of anticipation, or do we just wish it would crawl back into a dungeon and die? If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. 20 years after the events of Diablo 2, Deckard Cain is investigating ancient records. When he disappears after a mysterious falling star engulfs the cathedral and brings the dead back to life. The player arrives to investigate these happenings and after meeting his niece, set out on a series of events that unveil something much bigger in the eternal conflict between heaven and hell. The story changed together through in-game and cinematic cutscenes, showcasing the typical themes of sacrifice, betrayal, and greed amongst all the bloodshed. While most of these sudden twists are pretty well expected, the various journal entries and extensive lore are enough to suck you into the story to its conclusion. You cannot judge me. I am justice itself. Visually, Diablo 3 holds up well enough. Cinematic sequences are jaw-dropping in terms of quality and serve as a reward for completion of each act. Vivid backdrops and stellar art direction make each area its own, even if the character models are a little rough around the edges. These small nuances are overlooked with stellar sound design. Every swing of your sword or conjuration of a spell is audibly pleasing, and can make taking out multiple foes as appealing to hear as it is to see. Voice actors are spot on in their roles, bringing quirky companions or intimidating demons their personalities. Subtle yet haunting background music ties everything together to emulate that feeling of a lone hero diving into a treacherous dungeon. May death bring peace from your madness, Leon. Considering Diablo 3 is a PC title, gameplay is really easy to get the hang of. Practically all gameplay mechanics such as movement or attacking are done with the click of a mouse, with the exception of a few hotbar skills you acquire at later levels. Works well for the most part, but expect one very tired index finger after playing for a few hours. The main quest line is split into four acts with multiple quests given out in local towns, and from there you set off in the vast fields and deserts to complete the specified objective. While missions can vary, nothing strays far from go here, kill that, which can become exhausted after a while. While you can travel directly from point A to point B, looking in unexplored areas of the map or diving into a cave that's not part of the objective is the main appeal of Diablo 3. These side ventures usually pay off in the end with additional quests and items, and begin the addictive cycle of hunting every last corner of a dungeon for the most loot you can scrounge together. The air hangs heavy with the scent of terror. This does not bode well. The biggest appeal of dungeon crawling is that every area you enter or elite you encounter are completely randomized. Playing through the same area twice can yield not only new pathways, but new opportunities for loot and new elite monsters that require varying strategy. Furthers that unexpected feel of the game and offers plenty of replay value for your multiple runs through the axe. The random loot drops are plentiful and usually follow the defeat of an elite monster or discovery of a treasure chest. Since your loot is your own, you don't have to worry about someone taking it. There are always new pieces that are better than your current equipment, and multiple gem slots and materials can assist in crafting an optimal set for the tougher difficulties. You will never defeat me! There are five classes to choose from at the start, Barbarian, Demon Hunter, Witch Doctor, Monk, or Wizard. Regardless of your choice, Diablo 3 excels in letting you customize your combat approach as you see fit. Every move you unlock has the ability to join a rune to that specific action for a payoff effect. If you want a heavy hitter, you can customize a crit to do more damage, or if you find yourself dying, have that attack heal you instead. This level of customization ensures that when you run into an identical class on a server, you'll have different playstyles to match your preference, and it opens up hybrid classes like Melee Melee or ranged barbarian. You cannot switch these out quickly, however, so don't expect to adapt to a ranged enemy if you're outfitted for close quarters. You thought you were so clever. That you'd outwit us all. Enemies start off simple enough, but soon become much more menacing. The standard trash mobs range from lowly peons to heavy-hitting brutes to ranged casters. Boss battles will occur at the end of most dungeons, and while a few vary, the most strategy you can use is stay out of the bad stuff and run when the big move comes. 
Random elite mobs will also block your path, and their abilities fluctuate per your difficulty. The tougher the difficulty, the more powers they carry. These can prove more challenging than the actual end act boss fights, bordering that line between legitimate and incredibly annoying, as fights occasionally evolve into a game of tag just to survive. Though death is easily rectified, that repair bill can add up. Thank you for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. While taking the solo path is enjoyable, the multiplayer for the game is the best way to play. With every hero that joins your group, the minions of Hell grow stronger, and with a group of four, the boss fights and elites require a bit of coordination. It makes their defeat even more satisfying. However, when you got a big group, the wide radius of spells and explosions can make deciphering friend from foe difficult. There are a total of four difficulties you'll want to bring some friends along for, as the friendly AI lacks any real impact. These range from normal to nightmare to hell and inferno, each proving more difficult than the last but offering much better rewards. You can even create a hardcore character where death is permanent for that added feeling of tension and war. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Diablo 3 doesn't stray far from its roots in terms of gameplay, but holds up well enough. The simple combat and varying difficulties ensure that both the casuals and the hardcore crowd have plenty to explore. While it would have been nice to see some of the promised features like player vs player arena and mystic artisan crafting, their addition in a later patch can only improve the content offered. With minimal server lag after the rocky first week, Diablo 3 is an addictive and entertaining experience that should keep fans occupied for another 12 years.